Now, Steve, welcome to Fright Fest. Obviously, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, it is the first time I'm here. It's a little overwhelming, but it's very cool. That's right. We all go, we all go through that at some time. <laughs> That's true. Well, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, I've never been to anything quite like this. Now, uh, for the audiences at home that uh, are not familiar with uh, King Cohen, mm -hmm. uh, could you kindly explain a little bit about what, the, uh, what they can expect to see? Yeah, King Cohen is a feature-length documentary about a filmmaker named Larry Cohen who's had a very unique career that's lasted over half a century. That in and of itself makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. But to what, ma what makes it really interesting to me, what got me started was, he not only wrote, produced, and directed, I think 20, he did 20 movies that he wrote, produced, and directed, he directed 22. He was writing mainstream television and TV movies and feature scripts for other people while he was making his own movies. I mean, I've said a number of times that this guy's like the Energizer Bunny. There's just no stopping him. And by the way, he still writes every day. These, you know, today. I mean, he's probably cranked out half. Of, you know, he's very fast too, which you know, as a screenwriter, kind of hate that. But you know, he just sits down and he churns it out, and there's just no stopping him. And as Joe Dante says in my movie, he's an idea machine. So, yeah, that was kind of why I wanted to tell his story, because there's no one quite like him. Um, now, obviously, I, I've got to ask, you know, as, as with most directors and film writers uh, that, that come to Fright Fest, uh, where, where did this idea come from to, to make this documentary about Larry? What, 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 what was well, the, I was producing DVD special features and commentary tracks, and at the time, I sort of said, you know, I kind of want to do my own thing. And I one day went to the IMDB to look up uh, something about Larry, and I'm going, wow, I don't know that title, I don't know that title. And I was overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that he had done. And I said, maybe there's a movie in this. Because I wanted to do a movie of my own film, you know, not a film about films. So I made a film about filmmaker, you know, so. You know. Yeah, yeah. But, but, the, but the thing about Larry that I found out was there was such variety to his work. You know, a lot of guys will stay in a genre. And Larry's very well known for his horror stuff, you know, the It's Alive trilogy, the stuff God told me to, Cue the Winged Serpent, which is so many different genres at the same time, I don't know what to call it. But, you know, I just thought he was an interesting creative force, and then I met him and I found out that he was a great character. And all movies, fiction, nonfiction, are about great characters. Yeah. Uh, and as with, uh, uh, obviously, being the fact that Fright Fest is a widely known event now around the world uh, you know what, what are you hoping that audiences uh, you know take away from this after they've seen it well I think they'll find Larry not only interesting but entertaining but he's a real creative force and he's a creative force in a way I'm not entirely sure he's not like anybody today and he wasn't like anybody then that he is a unique idiosyncratic storytelling voice and kind of a wacky bullheaded you know, determined character. You know, so he's, if you were to actually write a fictional movie about this guy, he'd probably be pretty interesting to the audience. But I wanted the audience to get a sense of what this kind of creative force was like, you know. And he's a very unique guy. Like I said, he has a very unique voice. Uh, and obviously, as, as a writer yourself, mm -hmm. uh, as you've just indicated, anyone that was to take on a film about Larry, uh, is that something possibly you might be interested in doing later on down the line? You know, I've told Larry's story once, I think I've covered it. Uh, although, Larry, like I said, Larry, Larry thinks I should have done a mini-series. But, uh, no, I'm just interested in interesting characters. Whenever I write fiction, you know, what do I like when I go to the movies? Interesting characters. I mean, you can go see a movie that costs $600 million, and if the characters aren't interesting, so what? And then you can see a movie that's made for $600,000, and if they have phenomenal characters, you'll remember that forever. And that's kind of the stock and trade that I'm interested in, you know, character-driven material, whether it's fiction or non-fiction. And thanks to you, Steve, obviously, it's, it's because of people like yourself that you'll keep these interesting characters alive for long, for many years to come. God, I hope so. I hope so. No, listen, it's, it's like I'm an audience, too. And one of the things that I like about my movie is I think I made something that's fun, and we need fun these days, uh, but also it, sh it, you know, it shines a light on the way movies used to be made. You know, when I was growing up, movies that were important to me when I grew up. So I just want people to know, yeah, it, this is kind of the way it used to be done. And some, in some ways, certainly in Larry's way, the old way was a great way.